I'm sure by now you've seen a ton of buzz around the new uh, learning path available for the Rogue to Research campaign. That's one that I'm particularly fond of as well. It's the Cisco Data Center Nexus Dashboard Essentials Learning Path available now on Cisco U, uh, u.cisco.com. As I talked a little bit about it in my blog earlier, uh, this is a really robust uh, learning path that covers a variety of different topics that would be necessary for you if you're uh, involved with either data center operations, data center administration, or even dealing th with um, complex network uh, and data center fabrics like EVPN VXLAN uh, using the next, next dashboard uh, fabric controller. Um, the learning path itself uh, is incredibly um, complete uh, and will take you through uh, the operations and maintenance of Nexus dashboard itself, uh, how to admit, administer and kind of the, the ins and the outs of the Nexus dashboard fabric controller. And then the final uh, phase will teach you actually how to use Nexus dashboard fabric controller to deploy a fabric to a set of Nexus switches. It's important to remember that this is a practitioner's exam. So some familiarity with the Nexus platform, maybe some familiarity with uh, ACI or EVPN VXLAN. Uh, would help and be bene very beneficial in, in going through this learning path. Not required, but definitely something that would be uh, beneficial to you. To find the learning path, you can go ahead and just look for the DCNDE after you log into Cisco U, uh, and it should pop right up. And by clicking on that, you'll see all the different, the curriculum and, and all the different topics that are covered therein. You can see I've already, uh, I know it's just past Cisco Live, and I've already dove in, into the, uh, the pre-assessment here. Uh, lots of things to cover. Like I said, it's very hands-on, very lab-oriented. And the final thing that I want to convey to you before you get started and make sure is that you go through and this little box down here is making sure that you check off the continuing education credit uh, checklist. So you have a valid uh, account, uh, your profile is active, you have a valid certification because this is very valuable to learn, obviously, but uh, the, the most important thing is why you're uh, also interested in this is probably the, the continuing education credit. So make sure that you have uh, your CE profile valid. This will make sure that you're there and happy learning. Thank <music> you.